We're here with J.W., who's 10 years old, and he's now completing his program of vision therapy. He's graduating today. And why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what you found at the beginning before therapy, what kind of difficulties you were having, and how therapy was, and what you're noticing now. Well, before I started vision therapy, I noticed that whenever, whenever I read a book, like any book that's my that I read at my level, my grade level, I used to stammer a lot and read. I used to stammer and um say things twice or skip a couple of words. But now I don't do that as much. Good. What else do you notice? What other changes have you noticed? Um, I play baseball and I noticed that my swing has gotten better over time. And what's happening in terms of your ability to hit the ball, not only swing? Um, I hit it, I don't think this has anything to do with my vision, but I hit it farther and I hit it much, like, I hit it more than I used to. So why do you think it changed? If it wasn't due to your vision, what do you think changed? What can you tell us about seeing the ball? Before, it went a little fast, and it wasn't because of the picture, but it was because my brain, it was kind of like hard to see it, and then in my brain, think about all the steps I have to do um, before I swing, like striding and loading, but now it's easier. Good. Well, it actually has a lot to do with your vision, because it's your vision that tells you, how fast is that ball coming at me? Is this a strike or a ball? Is this something that I should swing at or just let go by? And because you, you better understand where that ball is coming, that's why you're able to connect with the ball. And because you can connect with the ball, you can smack it out of the park or, or you know, hit it much, much farther because it's hitting the correct part of the bat. And that's why things are probably better in, in terms of playing baseball. How does that make you feel in terms of uh, your ability to hit the ball and your ability to to read and understand better what you're reading? Me, the, the fact that my vision improved a lot, it makes me happier. So, like, I can do better in school and stuff. That's great. Anything else you want to add? Um, okay. Well, let's let's turn to mom and dad. Okay. Mom, tell us, what did you notice? Or what have you noticed? Um, in the beginning, I would say vision therapy, he was struggling um, with math, in math, which he never had a problem with, and I thought, um, you know, it was changing grade level, um, but it turns out that in this grade level, he was having more word problems, and I guess um, that's when the comprehension was, you know, obvious to me that he wasn't comprehending what all the words were saying, he was skipping words. Um, so his grades started suffering, and he's always been a great, um, he's always been great at math. Um, so that was really surprising and alarming to me. Um, so, and reading comprehension, same thing. He was uh, struggling, you know, um, answering multi-step questions. That's uh, one of the big things that I noticed. He would answer part of the question, not the entire question. Um, and also in terms of baseball, which was, um, you know, he would swing at the ball this way which I was like, well, that's a different way to swing. But I thought, you know, he was new at the sport and, you know, getting to learn the techniques and, st and things like that. Um, and through this process, you know, he's able to swing, you know, this way, the correct way. Um, so, and also his handwriting. His handwriting was very messy um, and kind of like going off. Um, and I didn't know that that was due to his vision, so. So what can you tell us about his self-esteem? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, he's, it's been a journey. Um, you know, the vision therapy and the contacts um, have been a process. And um, he's put in the work doing his daily homework and the MBOPIA program. Um, and now he's just so happy um, that he's gotten to this point. Um, and so am I. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. 
he's actually finishing or completing his, his therapy program a little earlier than, than anticipated, than, than, than average. And that's fantastic. And that's a testament to, to kind of how much work he's put in. Mm -hmm. That's great. Dad, what do you notice? Um, well, my kids and I, Julian and I, we do a lot of uh, read out loud sessions. And I noticed early on that he would skip every third word, or if he didn't skip it, he would reread it. And I thought that was a little strange. But as Michelle uh, alluded to, it's really in baseball that we noticed the biggest difference. So initially, he first chopped it, and then over time, <clears throat> he got, I guess, his perception of how the ball comes. And so his swing is more smooth, and he's just more confident. And he was always a good hitter. He always, he had a, uh, his, he always would hit it, the ball, but now it's just hitting it and it's further. There's more distance and there's more pop to it. So, you know, obviously his uh, self-esteem is uh, much improved. And as far as math's concerned, my kids have taken advanced math since they were mm -hmm. small. And the fact that he started having uh, C's in his math, that, that was a very big, big question mark for us and, and, to, and, and <clears throat> we didn't figure out until it was the comprehension part of it that he was really uh, giving him a problem, not necessarily the math part. So now that we've corrected that, uh, it's, we're back to where we're, we're supposed to be. So he's just very happy. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing. And um, what would you tell other parents whose kids are having these types of difficulties? Well. Uh, I would advise them uh, that part of our problem was we didn't recognize that there was a problem. Mm -hmm. We took them to the eye doctor, and even the eye doctor didn't recognize that there was a problem. So you just have to be very vigilant and know your child. Mm -hmm. The clues are there. The clues are there. You just have to really pick up on them and then make sure you're vigilant and address them. Even if the first eye doctor says there's, you know, there's no problem, you just have to be very vigilant. And, uh, you know. So you guys really understood or knew that there was some sort of underlying vision component to holding him back and from succeeding the way you would expect him to. And now that we've um, that he's gained the skills that and, and I consider it fortunate that, that we were there uh, to be able to help him. Um, now he's kind of like put the tools into his toolbox and now he can use the tools and he can function well and um, and succeed. Absolutely. Yeah. We couldn't be happier about yeah, that. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.